it, it's about looking at different approaches to care that will benefit patients. I think it's a good thing for nursing. It offers a good career path for nurses who wish to specialise at an advanced level. These are first class nurses that are fulfilling a really exciting and innovative and um, important role. There is a course you can do to learn how to prescribe medications properly, which is what we've all done, which is medicine. Doctors have nothing to fear from nurse practitioners and everything to gain. Australia's healthcare system is changing rapidly to keep abreast of advances in science and technology. Today, being a nurse is very different to 10 years ago. With the higher education of nurses has come more advanced roles and clinical pathways for the profession. Today's nurse is armed with a degree and most often a postgraduate master's in their chosen speciality. Nurses often juggle handling complex equipment and learning new technologies and advances in medications with maintaining the physical and emotional needs of their clients and their families. It's a complex role which requires a high level of education, organisation, compassion, understanding and the ability to work in a team. Today there is a more advanced role for nurses in the form of nurse practitioner. A nurse practitioner has advanced experience in education and can practice in an expanded nursing role. A nurse practitioner is really a registered nurse with an extended scope of practice. The role has, has been legalised and so the nurse practitioner has got prescribing rights and referral rights and also rights to, to order diagnostic tests. This is an extension of nursing which is not under the current scope of practice. A nurse practitioner is not a second-rate doctor, it's a first-rate nurse. But by and large, for all sorts of reasons, prescribing, ordering of pathology and radiology and referrals have not been part of the scope of practice that nurses have been involved in. People see that these will be substitute for medical practitioners, that they're, they're a different role. There, there are certainly no clear-cut boundaries these days in healthcare. The workforce is changing across the board. It's not just nursing, it's areas such as radiography, radiology, there are a number of areas. I think we're getting a better meshed um, health workforce rather than just looking at um, very rigid disciplinary guidelines as has, has been the case for many years. I don't think they should be compared to doctors. They are nurse practitioners in their own right. They're nurses um, at, practicing at an advanced level and their skills complement those of the other people in the healthcare team. It's because there's been a lot of rhetoric about roles and role development. Politically it's been a heated debate on the value of the roles and are they encroaching on boundaries of other clinicians. I think there's been some resistance from the medical practitioner because I think they do not understand what's involved in the training. A lot of people just assume that they're going to take over the roles of a junior doctors and this is not the case. They are there to help us to manage patients more effectively and safely. I mean these are new roles that you know that nursing have taken on board and that's why WA had you know we had to go through legislation to get the rights for the nurse practitioner to be able to prescribe and to order tests and also to refer um, and this is the extension of the nursing practice when you talk about nurse practitioner. People will say to you you know the nurse practitioner has gone too far. What we've got to remember is that nurse practitioner has a defined scope of practice. And for example, um, in the liver service, that nurse practitioner has a caseload in outpatients, she's looking at patients with hepatitis C, she's managing their treatment regime, so she's ordering the investigations and ordering the medications. She is totally concentrated on that level. And just recently, um, talking to the head consultant of that area, she said that when she, we first introduced the concept of nurse practitioner, she thought maybe this person could get to the level of a resident. We now see go back 18 months later and she's now saying she's at the level of a registrar. So I think the important things are they have the education in, in 
that area, they are prescribing and diagnosing and um, also ordering investigations from a clinical protocol that has been agreed to by not only the nursing profession but the medical profession and the pharmacy uh, profession and also the radiological profession. It took many years for nurse practitioners to be legislated by Parliament. New South Wales led the way with progressive nurse leader Judith Mepham and the College of Nursing. But the nurse practitioner role had many enemies. Mainly the Australian Medical Association who believes its introduction was a financial decision. Oh, right. Have you got movement in this arm? So the government decided well, to cut down the cost of, of medicine and we need to provide a nursing pathway or a nursing career path. And nurse practitioners was a very easy out for both of them because you could then substitute the work of medical practitioners who cost more than nurses and you could give the nurses a token career pathway and say, oh, this is great, now you can go off and be a nurse consultant or a nurse practitioner. That would give them something to do. Nurse practitioners are in many other countries in the world and certainly were before Australia. My view is it's not necessarily a financial decision. It is another solution in terms of managing demand and improving access for people accessing the healthcare system. The roles of nurse practitioners complement what we're doing. I think we need to understand that the nurses are very highly trained in the area and they can manage the patients safely and they can save us a lot of time in trying to do the things that are fairly routine and give us more time to do other more complex uh, procedures. The concept of nurse practitioner isn't particularly new in Australia. For years, nurses have been writing pathology slips and x-ray forms or acting on standing orders for life-threatening medications without consulting the doctor until the next day or when the doctor shows up on the ward. This understanding between the two professions is well cemented and documented in Australia's healthcare system and to date has worked well for doctors, nurses and patients. Because nurses are present with the patient more than anyone else, tasks get passed on to nurses for the convenience of the patients because you can't keep ringing up the doctor every 10 minutes to get him to come and do the IVs or take the blood pressures or take the temperatures or whatever, but also for the convenience of the doctors. Now, prescribing referrals and ordering of pathology and radiology are tasks that nurses have done for many years in an ad hoc fashion. They've done them through things like standing orders, whereby a doctor will say, if this happens, give this. Well, the doctor's not there to say whether this is happening or not. It's the nurse's clinical knowledge that says, oh yes, this patient's you know, developed a, you know, extra chest sounds, or this patient's developed a higher temperature or whatever, therefore I'll give them this. Or this patient's experiencing extreme pain, therefore I'll give them this drug. So in a way, even though the doctor's signing the piece of paper, the nurse is making the clinical decision. And I think that there actually is, thankfully, a large proportion of the nursing fraternity that think this is our job and this is not our job. And look, there are some people who want to, do, who want to cross into that job, but there's actually not an enormous number. A lot of nurses are very, very happy in the work that they've done, and they're very happy in the role that they take. I would be surprised, very surprised, if it develops to be more than a few small, very specialised areas. Um, there are over 230 nurse practitioners in Australia now, and there are about 90 nurse practitioners who are processing. I would say that the future will see other roles and other workers. Not all nurses will wish to go down the path of nurse practitioner, but I certainly see a place for them, and in some areas it might be a niche area. Nurse TV, brought to you by Hester.